Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. In the latest update, they have changed the game completely. Whereas before, there was no danger at all in this game. In the latest update, they have added a system where the ghost can actually hurt you. Now, they can't kill you, but they can hurt you and drain the uh, the battery of your equipment. I, I don't know what it's going to look like because I haven't seen it happen yet. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to go against the most aggressive ghost the demon to s test out this new system and see what will happen if the ghost grabs us it's gonna be fun i hope you enjoy me if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go i feel terrible about dolores's situation possession is such a controversial topic and quality help is often difficult to find controversial topic i guess the best thing i can do to help is determine if anything paranormal is going on in their home. If it is, then I should obtain as much evidence as possible. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Alrighty, so this ghost, uh, actually, it used to be a different ghost. So this ghost used to be in another house, but then the whole story got reworked. And now the story of this demon in particular is, in my opinion, the most interesting ghost story we, we've ever seen in a game. Because there's actually not one, not two, but three ghosts in this house. And all of the ghosts are related to each other. They're uh, basically... The, the, like, overarching story of this house seems to be... Let me grab all the items and go in there as well. Uh, let's grab the basic stuff first. Uh, that there is... There's been a demon for a really long time here who has been made, like, possessing the house. And every time new people move into the house, the ghost starts possessing those people that uh, live in the house. Or at least one of the, one of the weakest people... Uh, of the of the ones that live here, so one the one that's the most susceptible to the dark dark forces or whatever, um, and it seems like the latest one who's gotten possessed is the daughter of the person living here, called Cece. Uh, now, uh, one of the other ghosts that are here are ghosts. There's another person who got possessed or who summoned a demon. That person b bit off a little more than they could chew, and they they got themselves killed by the demon and then the other one is the mother of the ch oh yeah this is that super dark story of the mother uh of the the daughter that got possessed and then killed the entire family basically like that's the that's the story of this demon they possess one of the per people living here and then they make them commit horrible deeds so that's kind of like the oh, story of the location uh, which we're definitely gonna see some of that during this investigation. Oh, come on. No, I didn't. There. No! These lights are acting funny. I should All right, we got some evidence. We have more, more EMF. Come on. Oh, there we go. The EMF meter nice. should not be this way. This is paranormal. What's what? Now, we should be a little careful since the ghost can, like, get us now. Oh, boy. Very cold in this basement. Well, not very cold. I'm just... something? I didn't get the recorder out in time. I'm just a... something. I don't know if anyone... Well, that's definitely demon. There. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. I wonder what Conrad is gonna say. Conrad better be like, oh my god. I, Conrad actually better be scared when he gets grabbed, and not just be like, woo. I just, I love. Oh my god. Wow. I'm not sure what's more impressive. Ah, I took the photo, or I'm going to survive this. Holy shit! He's fucking dead, dude. Oh. oh let's not do that again. <laughs> of course. No. 
the only thing Conrad could say. <laughs> Let's not do that again. That was just inconvenient. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, what? Did I lose? I need to replace these uh, batteries. Okay, so then it drains the entire battery of whatever device you were using, and then you got to go back to the truck to replace the batteries. So it's not... Uh, it only drains the one that you were using. It, it's not like a... Like a... Like, it doesn't end the contract. It's just, like, minor... It's like a minor inconvenience. Just to get... I like that, because it doesn't change the, like, feel of the game. It doesn't make it... Because dying in this game would feel out of place. Like, it's a... It, it doesn't happen that people constantly die in real life by, like, ghosts murdering them. Like, that's not a thing. Um, so, they make the ghosts feel more realistic by giving them, like... They're, they're present, but they don't have, like, life or death influences on the ghost investigator. Um, which I think is a clever choice. It just, it just makes it feel more immersive. Um, but this way, they make certain ghosts feel more... You lose evidence, too? Oh. Interesting. It, may, it makes it feel more... Uh, like, it makes those ghosts feel more, uh, more, more dangerous. Which is cool. Very cool. Yeah, let's go back into the basement where we just got grabbed by a fucking demon. I wonder how the demon in... If the... I wonder if the demon in, um... In the church... In the woods next to the church will, will also grab you. Because I don't remember that ghost actually physically attacking you. Like, this is the only ghost that actually goes after you and grabs you. Uh... That would be cool. I think we're gonna... Maybe, maybe we'll do another investigation right after this. Maybe we'll investigate them as well. Um, oh yeah, it does charge at you. Never mind, it does charge at you. Wait, we should check that ghost out too. Because there's definitely more we have to explore uh, about that uh, ghost in the woods with the cult and everything. Like, that's so cool. There's so many secret stories in this game. Like, I haven't shown some of these, like, earlier houses in a while. So if you've only watched my recent videos on this game, I highly recommend you check it out for yourself and you do lo like those investigations. Oh. Incredible the photo of an entity. What the fuck? Oh my god. Ooh, that is eerie audio. Oh, I got two of one photos, excuse me. Because uh, there is so much to uncover. Anyway, that was cool. Demon here. What do we still need to have? We still need to get temperature data. And we have a full... In oh god. The whispering. I don't think there's more notes we have to collect in this map. We went pretty deep on the investigation, which I... Like, if you want to see us figure out this story piece by piece, um, you can watch the video I did on that a while ago, because it was... It blew our minds. There's some... There's a real fucked up history here. What the fuck was that? Does hiding work? I don't think you can hide from this ghost. It, like, knows where you are. I think what you have to do is get... What the fuck? I need to put this on a different button. I want to put this on, like, the... On the fourth key. Holy fuck. Excuse me. What kinds of... Oh yeah, the new audio equipment with these ghosts because we've never done that. Yeah, that's such a cool idea. Yeah, let's grab all the new stuff here. Yeah, yeah, we've never used the new equipment on these ghosts. Let's see. Because the, the new audio equipment is... All his fault? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. We grab the EMF, sure. Photo cam, and then the two new things. I'll just, yeah, sure, we'll grab this. There's still more. I would like to set, put the dots pen down here as well. Place this down. Beep beep. Oh god. What if I place this under? It didn't even beep. It didn't even beep, dude. Got it. Tough shit going on here.
Place that. Oh, we can't. Oh, hi. Get photographed, dude. This thing is going crazy. <laughs> oh, boy. A photo of an entity? It does so many pictures. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, let's place it because it, it actually, like, it, like, blog. You have collision with the photo cam, so you need to place it somewhere. Somewhere else. Let's place it right there. And it, actually, let's place it looking at the door in case the ghost, like, chases us. We're going to be able to see it get, like, run out the door. Okay, let's drop this stuff here for now because I want to grab the... I want to grab everything. I want to grab the dot sensor as well. I'm going to go outside immediately. I do not want to get killed. Um, Because I don't think I've ever seen the dot sensor actually do anything. I want to see it. It looks pretty damn cool. It's like the tier one dot sensor from uh, Phasmo when they released the progression update. How does it work though? Do I just place, I see some of the shadow, oh, there's just planks. Guess I'll just place it again, like over here. So it's against that wall. I mean, that should work. Change color to blue when it gets cold, what? Uh, I don't need another photo. I'll just do this. I'll focus on all the audio. Let's try this new ones. Oh, hi there. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Run. Is this your home? We're not hearing demon. Can hear them coming. Eternal. Eternal. Wow. I, I, so, I really think someone is trying to communicate with so me. So this ghost is like, as I said, it's haunting like every family that lives here, leading to like tragedies over the. Like, there's been many many tragedies uh, throughout the years in this house. Why it seems to be that the demon has been just haunting the place for a long time. Can you tell me your name? All right, well, nothing with this one anymore. At least not now. Um, oh, we can have it in our inventory. And then try this weird thing. Oh, whoop. Button. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is this your home? Wow, I, I, I really am eternal. Think someone is trying to communicate with me. <laughs> I am eternal. Do you like the current family living here? Do maternal over here. I like turtles. <laughs> Do you like the current family living here? Doom guy, dude. We haven't been attacked in a while. Uh, can we? We can also try this one. Can you tell me your name? I don't know name? if we've had this answer already. Just keep spamming it. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Don't attack me, please. I'm busy. Can you tell me your name? Your wow, that sounded like a response. <laughs> okay, there you go. Isn't that a thing? Uh, isn't that a thing with demons that sometimes you need to? It's like, uh, what is it called? Maple still chip, but I don't think that's the name in in uh, English. It's like uh, in order to. What is that? What is the? What's the what's the English word for that guy? Oh God! Uh, any any. Touch people in chat. Rumple Stiltskin, that guy. Yes, that one. <laughs> Rumple Stiltskin, that guy. Like, if you, in order to get rid of the demon, sometimes you have to know their name. Uh, so that's why he wasn't telling me their he his name. 
because he was like, I don't want you to exercise me, man. Um, all right, so that is, dude, I love these new devices. Can I get one more? One more for good measure. One more on the, on the name here. Can you tell me your name? I, I wonder if they made it less aggressive. Because it feels like it's less, it's, it's not me attacking me as much as it was before when I played on this map. It, the ghost kept going crazy, like non-stop. Can you tell me your name? When I was, uh... Can you when I was playing on this map before. Maybe there's a cooldown between grabs? I don't know. He's busy answering my questions. There's also more ghosts in here, obviously. There's two more ghosts upstairs. Um... Grab the ghost and equipment. Maybe we can take another picture of those upstairs. Now, what the, the the scariest part of this whole map is that the demon will be active like all all always, not just when you're down there. So sometimes you'll be like investigating the ghosts over here, and then all of a sudden the demon will like come run, running from down the stairs, and now and. Previously, that used to be a huge jump scare, but now it's like you'll actually just be fucking smashed to the ground out of nowhere. <laughs> you'll be like, what the fuck? Help! Because there's also ghosts up here. Oh! Oh, hi there! Oh, Whoa! Very new noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Incredible. A photo of an entity? Wait, I got a ghost. Wait. Oh no! The ghost is coming! Is he coming? Cause I got a... He's... Is he? Cause I got a photo of the... <laughs> the camera downstairs got a picture. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's so cool. <laughs> the camera downstairs was like... <laughs> Wait, what did you take? Wait, okay, I can't pick it up my inventory school. Wait! Huh? How do Wait, I took a picture of the ghost? What do you mean I took a picture of the ghost? Wait, what? Wait, so it was after me? Oh. What? Wait. Huh? Wait, how did I take a picture of the ghost? Did I not see it? No, I didn't. Is there a ghost? The fuck? That's so interesting. That might be my favorite part of this map. Just the times when you're like trying to investigate another ghost and then all of a sudden the demon will be like, Here's Johnny! Oh, right, maybe I recorded an audio and not a photo. I see, I see. I got myself bamboozled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't know. Probably, yeah. Otherwise, why would the ghost not actually be there? I know this is the room of the pe person that's possessed. I'll keep that as audio evidence. You'll do what now? Excuse me? Conrad? <laughs> Conrad? Oh! I heard the EMF. That's so cool. I love that you can just set up like... Equipment across the map. That's extraordinary audio evidence. What the fuck? We got 13 out of 8 audio evidence, and we got 2 out of 1 photos, by the way. Don't know how that's supposed to work, but... Going crazy. Kill me. Oh! Turn on the light in here. This is a very spooky room. Uh, well then. Anyway, I think we should get the hell out of here before we get even further down by this demon. And then we should check out the demon. Let's listen to some new audio. I'm pretty sure we got some new audio. And then go into the church. There you go. More audio. Who is that? Um, I'm glad I captured it with a To try and find the ghost in the forest. Because we've done very little investigating on that ghost. That's a very creepy one as well. Look at that. Another perfect investigation. This is definitely like my favorite house. It's just so small. Well, but like my favorite. It's like very, it's a very complete, completed story. It's like one building with every ghost, like interacting with each other. And it feels very well, well done. 
Uh, obviously, the other maps are way more elaborate, but I just there's something very neat about having like a, a, a well-contained story. But anyway, let's listen to some audio. So that was Jefferson Street House. We have a, the ghost on fire, I'm guessing. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what does it say? I think this is not English. I dance the teddy bears. <laughs> That's totally what he says. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> this is all just fucking. <laughs> Once upon a time. <laughs> I don't think it's saying anything. <laughs> Any Latin speakers in chat? What the fuck is any of this shit? Excuse me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Reverse the audio? You can't reverse the audio, sadly. It would be really cool if, if, if it was a thing. What the fuck? <laughs> it's so loud. Holy shit. I even turned down the audio. <laughs> All right, dude. Is there anything you would like to tell me? That's definitely some other language. I'm a Gorio. This is all fucking bullshit. Just laughing. Alrighty, anyway, that's all the <laughs> all the evidence on the demon. Let's go to the church now and check out that demon as well. Um now, remember, every time I start the ch the church map, my my webcam is gonna start lagging because it I don't know, loading this map takes a lot of effort, so get ready for that. <laughs> By me, I'm gonna now start running at two frames per second. Here we go. Unless they fix that. Let's see, it's loading. Oh, what an incredible it. opportunity oh to God. investigate this location at night. There's quite a history here it. pertaining <laughs> to the paranormal. I'm very grateful Pastor Rogers reached out, although I'm not sure what he'll think if I find some evidence. Regardless, Pastor Rogers was concerned enough about what he and his parish members have seen to reach out. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Let's go. All righty. So, uh, welcome to the church. This is maybe the largest map we've ever seen in a ghost hunting game in terms of like sheer size of everything because there's a lot of area to cover we're gonna start by let's see i think i'm gonna go over there quickly uh, uh let's just let's just take the take the items the items we need first and then we'll come back for the like stuff we put down later um let me lead you around that's the church right there you can you can see it now it looks very nice from the inside but as far as i know we don't have any notes yeah we don't have any notes on the church itself we only have notes on red eyes which is the only ghost that i've actually never found yet i've never found the red eyes it seems and when we were checking the wiki for this investigation it seems like they've added some additional notes so i might do a video soon about actually investigating the red eyes for the first time because it's the one ghost i've just never been able to find um but we have notes on, we have one note on the red eye and then five notes on the cult in the woods plus the demon. I thought that was the red eye for a second right there, but it's just a little thing. Uh, can you go in here yet? 
do have found it. Yeah, I still need to do that. You can't go in here. Uh, there's, I think, two ghosts here. There's a shadow ghost and there's a, uh, the reverend, the lost reverend walking around. Now, over here is the uh, graveyard, which also has a ghost in it. Obviously, it's a haunted graveyard. What did you expect? Of course, it's going to have a ghost. Um, and then over here. So that's another ghost. That's already three ghosts. Uh, well, I think one of the ghosts is... The shadow ghost is both in the church and in the graveyard. So that might just be the same. Then over here, we have Mr. Siegerstein, which is haunting this building, which is one of the old groundskeepers. Oh. Forgot you can do that. <laughs> Just push that around a little bit. Uh, now, there should be some additional notes they've added recently that I haven't collected yet on this map. Look around if I can find those notes as well. Now, over there is the mausoleum, which is where our good friend uh, Pierre Le Pierre Pierre Le Fabre or whatever the fuck some French name is. Uh, but then in here is where the real spooky business starts. This is the forest. I love how many different things there are on this map. There's also the whole, like, extra graveyard over there, but we're going to spend most of our time in the forest over here because this is where the demon uh, is hiding in the forest, being all creepy and shit. Pretty hard to find the area the demon is, but I think I know. You you'll know it when you reach it, but it's hard to find because there's, like, bones around. I think it's this way. Oh. We should grab our... Evidence items already. Is it this way? Yeah, here it is. Bones. This is where you gotta be. You gotta find the bones. Because over here, they've tried to summon a demon. And they may or may not have succeeded in trying. This is the cult. Or the area where the cult tried summoning. Now, around this whole area. It's not just in this area. It's also in the larger area around it. Demon will show themselves. So, what I think we're going to do is we're going to drop off our items here. And then we're going to quickly grab the other items. Like the stationary items. Because they're going to really help this investigation. Because I've never done this investigation with the new equipment. Uh... It's like setting up a camera here while we're in that little area. It's going to be so helpful. So let me quickly get that. Um, come on. Where is it? Oh, hi there. What the hell? <laughs> Deers around. Oh, oh my God. What's that? Did you see that? What the hell? There was like blue eyes in the forest. The fuck? Whoa. There's definitely here. Wait, is, is this where the... Screaming out in the forest. This is getting real spooky, man. I don't know if I'm ready for this. The fuck? Uh, oh, here it is. Okay, here's all our equipment. We got the EMF pod, which we'll just place. You know what? We'll place the EMF pod in this area. So we don't, because this area is real small. So we don't have to be in this area too much. We can just place the EMF pod there. So then in case something interesting happens, we're going to see it. And we could also place the camera here. For now, at least. And then the dots pen, which is going to be a little hard to use in the forest here because there's no clear walls. But I guess we'll set it up against this tree. So that should work. And then we have the paramite. I'll we'll quickly drop down here. And then there's two more items that I quickly want to grab from the truck. So give me a sec. There it is. You can see the dots. The dots are actually great for finding your way in the forest. Okay, so now we have every single item here. I should grab my, uh, grab my, all the basic stuff, so that in case the ghost shows up, we can quickly grab, a grab the evidence. Now, did you take a picture while I was gone? That's what I'm curious about. You did not capture a picture, you'd imagine. That'd be so cool. <laughs> you come back, you have a picture. Doesn't seem like anything's changed here. Go around a little bit, talk to the ghost, see if we can find something. So dark out here. Uh, stand in this, like, opening here. This opening area. 
Anyone, Is there here? anyone here who would like to speak with me? Maybe we should collect some EMF first. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Let's do a few of these. Just ask like four questions. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is it, it increases the chance every time you ask? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Come on, you piece. Do you know why I'm here? How much audio in the forest? Do you know why I'm here? Why aren't the birds recorded on the thing? How many people are Explain here? Explain this to me, Conrad. Other than me. This is not a true recording. It's fake. How many people are here other than me? Alrighty. Well, it doesn't seem like we're getting a response. It's le at least not right now. Uh, so let's check around. Because we have no evidence, right? We have nothing yet. Uh, now, the forest can be a real bitch to investigate because it's so... Bees? Ah! Not the bees! What the fuck? Help! Not the bees! <laughs> it just means there's been other bees here. Is that random? I'm gonna get stung. Check in the... Let's check in the bone area. That'd be the place for... Audio might be easy with the paramite because we can cover the whole forest with the paramite, basically. All right, ghost. Oh! <gasps> Hmm, these temp readings are Well usually. then, we're just farming evidence here. Something's Holy shit, let's go. Here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Okay. It's extremely cold in the cold spot. Of course it is. There's no EMF though. Nice. That's already really important. The more evidence you find, the more active the ghosts become. So that that's already going to increase ghost activity by a lot, which is awesome. Um, doesn't seem like there's anyone here, though. At least not someone I can see. There might be someone. The flies help you find EMF. Is that true? Are they still here? I mean, they're not flies. They sound like bees. They're gone. Oh! Wow. I, I took a photo of a ghost. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's just two floating eyeballs, man. Excuse me? Right over here. Oh! What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Holy shit, what's going on? Jesus, I'm gonna talk to you here. Is this your home? <laughs> It seems to go crazy over this spot. Yeah, Conrad's is real chill, home? dude. Conrad is not phased. Do you like come the current on, family living ask here? All these four. Current family living in the forest. Do you like the random people squatting in the forest? Do you like the current family living here? Come on. Why are you here? Why are you here? I want a name. It's probably gonna respond in Latin anyway, if it's ever gonna respond. Why are you here? Yeah, I really like how Can they've given Conrad name? this, like, personality of just being super stoic and unfazed by everything. I mean, you gotta have a certain unfazed personality when you do stuff like this. Especially in a world where there's just paranormal Is evidence there anyone everywhere. Here who would like to speak with me? If you go into a forest and you just encounter demons 100% of the time. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Just fucking talk to me! He did get scared by his office phone once. That was the first... Uh, we saw that for the first time a while ago. A special Easter egg. Um, okay, so let's see. We should grab... So now that we have freezing temperatures, we don't need this as much anymore. So I'm gonna grab the Parabox and try that one. 
I mean, I'm just gonna keep you over here since it seems to be here. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Did it drain my battery, by the way? Because I did walk into the ghost. Talk to me. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? We should put the camera on this road. Dad. Do you know why? I wonder I'm here? if we could hear the EMF from here. Probably. How many people are here? The, the problem with this this ghost me. is that there's such a large area where it's active. It means that it's really hard to. That may have been a response. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Can you tell me your name? Oh, okay then. <laughs> Disease. Disease? Hmm. I feel like ah. someone might be trying to chat. Why are you here? Disease. Why are you here? Why are you here? What a beautiful name. That's what I was gonna. Hmm. There's I summoning like ritual. The sacrifice. Chat. Wait, that's so cool. <laughs> Do you like the current family living here? Wait, that's so cool. Dude. Feed? Excuse I'm convinced. Me? Someone or this something thing is, is trying to This thing is insane. I love the Paravox. The Paravox is the best thing is in, this the, in the entire game. This thing gives you so much evidence. Lies. I'm convinced. <laughs> Someone or something is trying to communicate with Lies. me. Lies. You mean the bees? Is there anyone <laughs> here who would like to speak with me? Flies are here, dude. This is having a chatting session with me. Holy shit. Is there anyone here would like to speak with me? Yeah, there are actually flies, I guess. Come on. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Wait, is, why the hell this tree is, like, waving? You see this? The fuck? Is that there anyone here who would like to speak with me? It's, just, it's like breathing. Do you know why I'm here? I'm hallucinating. Okay. Well, that was a lot of evidence. Holy fuck. That was really cool. Now we're going to use the annoying... Bzz, 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 but it has to be done. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? It just picks up random things sometimes. Oh. Here we go. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Here's something. What? I swear I heard like a rumble here. Oh. Oh. Hi, Moon. Um, did you capture anything? How do you see if it captured something? Will there be like an extra light on or something? Oh, the flies. The flies are here! The EMF. Oh! Wait, the flies give EMF! What the fuck? Wait. Wait, they're gone! Wait, the flies are ghosts of it? Okay, what the hell? These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Never mind, not the flies. It was just... Fuck. No, it's gone. Wait, maybe it went into this area. Maybe it went into here. Oh, there! The EMF meter should not Dude, be Dude, you suck! This is paranormal. You are shit! My brother! Why are you not never picking anything up? You use this piece of crap? You piece of junk? Alright, well, anyway. We got evidence. This thing sucks. Oh wait, we just got almost everything? We got audio evidence of photo EMF. That means the ghost must be going crazy now. Uh, well, I guess it's over here. We might as well talk over here then. Uh, do you know why I'm here? It's not useful in open space. How many people yeah. are here other than me? 
But this, thank you for the 19. Is this your home? Oh, that's the real killer. Dude, what if they combine Shadows of Doubt and Conrad Stevenson's procedurally generated murders with procedurally generated ghosts? Holy shit. Do you like the current this family is living here? A million dollars idea. Shadows of Conrad. Why are you here? Fifty Shades of Conrad. Can you tell me your name? But it would kind of take, it would obviously take away the super personal nature of the ghosts in Conrad. Like, they're all so unique. Anyway, I can shut up now. I think it's time for Paramike. Drop this shit on the ground because it's annoying. It would be nice if it was a little bit more quiet. I think it, so the way the Paramike works in this game is it actually busts as heck. It picks up audio almost anywhere on the map. So especially on a big map like this, you could be standing in the middle of the map and pick up like sounds from the church. At least that's what I think I I, I did when they first added these items. Paramike is busted. We should check over at the, um... Oh, I saw something there. We should check at the red eye location. It should be over through here. Unless I'm wrong. Yeah, here. So, apparently, I've been told, because I've never seen them myself. Apparently, along the road here, you can have a, a ghost with red eyes wandering. Now, there's also notes in the archive that I haven't found yet, and they must be related to the red eye ghost. So, if we could find those notes, that would be amazing, because then next times, if we want to investigate the red eye specifically... We can use those notes to make it a lot more active. Because right now we only have one note on the red eye. Um, the one ghost I've never found yet. I guess you could set up a camera over here and just do like an investigation in the... Yeah, you could set up like a, a stationary cam in this area while you investigate the lady in white. That would be one strategy. Because the lady in white is right here in this area. And the, the red-eyed ghost is apparently here. Not seeing anything. F1. I have no notes on the on the red-eye, as far as I know. I don't know where, where they are. I'm assuming they're in the area where the ghost is, so it's going to be, like, along this road against the trees, maybe? Feel spooky. I have a note on the red- Yeah, I mean, I have a note, but that's just, like, the basic red-eye note. That's, like, the one from the wiki. It's, like, there were- Or the one from the email or something. It's, like, one you get for free. Not actually- Oh! <gasps> How rare to take a photo of a ghost. What? Oh, my God! We did it! Holy shit, and it looks like a sh- Wait, shadows don't- Please tell me I had that. Please tell me I got that. Let's go! Oh, very unusual noise. Holy oh, shit! Let oh, let's go! Wait, this is insane. <laughs> new uh, new ghost, first time ever. How long have I played this game? Fifty hours. That's a chunky amount of time. And all of it is like super. That's the thing. This game has so much content, even though it's all, like, scripted ghosts. Like, they're all... There's so much to uncover. And so much... So many mysteries to find. And it feels a lot more impactful than just, like, a randomly generated ghost. Even a go... Even a game like Rev Remnant Records, who had, like, uh, random stories. The story started feeling extremely repetitive very quickly. Uh, because the same notes would keep coming back in every single story. Um... Yeah, this is... It's like, if you are interested in actually doing, like, ghost investigation, and not necessarily... Like, if, you, if you're looking for, like, a spooky, in-your-face horror game to play with friends, this is not it. 
But if you are looking for like a true ghost investigation, this is really the only game out there that's gonna like truly fill that niche at the moment. Like Phasmo is amazing, but it's not like a true ghost investigation game. It's more, it's more like a video game at heart. This is like a true ghost hunting simulator. Like it has a whole, it has its, its own entire spot in the ghost hunting scene that no one else has even tried to right to, to battle it on now there should be notes around here should be notes on the graves maybe exploded faces thank you for the 10 gifts of holy shit what the fuck but it's also like another perfect showcase if you watched phasmo yesterday i had this whole like monologue about the problems i have with the current state of ghost hunting games which is that the wrong things are being rewarded. Like, the flashier and the le less replayable your game is, the ho the better it sells, apparently. Because the Ghost Hunting games that have, like, been really successful lately, being Demonologist and Ghost Watchers, they're, like, extremely flashy games. And when you play them for the first time, you're like, oh my god, this is some of the best shit I've ever played. But then after you play it for a while, you start realizing just how repetitive the games are. Like, how... You're literally always seeing the same scripted jump scares. It's not like Phasmo, where every single, like, ghost event is just completely dynamically generated. But it's like, all the events are literally the same every single game. Um, but they're doing they're extremely success successful, which is... I'm not, I'm not saying those games aren't fun. I love those games. I've played them plenty, plenty of times in my days. But I'm just like, I want to see more than that out of j games in this genre. Because, like, Ghost Watchers was very much like that, especially when it first came out. It was very much like, this is a, um, just a flashy game with very little substance. Uh, and now Demonologist has kind of, like, one up that with a little bit more substance. Like, Demonologist definitely has more substance than, uh, I'm gonna go back into the forest than, uh, Ghost Watchers had. But it's still in a similar style. But those are the only two ghost hunting games after, like, Ghost Exorcism Incorporated, which was the first game, so it had that, like... Uh, it had a huge bonus because it was the first ghost hunting game after Phasmo to come out So it got like uh, a lot of attention because everyone was like could this be the new Phasmo? Um, but yeah, we We have seen very little innovation in the ghost hunting scene Also, I learned something very depressing about apparition you guys that know that ghost hunting game the, the like the game that came out before Phasmo like in 2018 uh, it's super unique. It's like an Ouija board ghost hunting game. I highly recommend checking it out. However, sadly, I don't I've never heard of this before, but the dev sold the game to like a small publishing company for like a very small amount of money. So now he can't work on it anymore, which is really weird. And he like immediately regretted it, he said. But and, like, the, the publishing company isn't doing anything with it at all. I've never heard of small company... Like, I've heard of, like, YouTubers sell their channel to, like, an MCN uh, and be, like, super sad about it. But I've never heard of, like, a game developer doing that thing. But, yeah, they, they sold the game, so they can't actually work on it anymore. That's, that's pretty darn sad, because the game is super cool. Like, I would love to see more updates for the game. I didn't even know you could, like... Like, why wouldn't you... Why would the publishers want you... Ugh, the battery died. Ah! That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. I, I think I figured out why the battery died, because I was standing on top of a fucking ghost, man. Jesus. So, yeah, that's a good showcase of the battery doesn't just... Oh, hi there. The battery doesn't just drain when you're like being grabbed by the ghost and knocked out, but it also drains, um, the fuck, where am I? I'm so lost. Um, where the fuck is the, let's go hear this. It also drains when you are standing on top of a ghost. Let's move the cam since this. Looks like the batteries are dead. God damn it. Um, wow. Oh! I'm not sure what's more impressive. I took the photo or I'm going to survive this. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse what photo? Wait, where's the ghost? Oh! 
Whoa! Holy shit! Oh, man! What the fuck? Dude! <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. This is what I... I would love to see more of this, which I don't know if they implemented it yet. I think they might have, because I was definitely not close to this when the photo was taken. Holy shit. Look at that. They did... They took a picture while it wasn't even here. Damn. That's all... So many pictures? That's crazy. What the fuck? It's like a deer head demon. That's really damn cool. I'm taking a screenshot of that. Nice. That's so cool. Alrighty. Well, I was gonna move the cam, but I guess I was taking pictures just fine over here. Maybe I'll just keep it here. Or I guess we'll move it since we already took a picture in this area. Try and take a picture over... Maybe around the dot sensor here? Incredible. A photo of an entity? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What a rare experience to take a photo of a ghost. What? <laughs> Where? What? What? What are you talking about, Conrad? Are you crazy? <laughs> Wait, excuse me? I don't see anything. Where's the ghost, Conrad? Can you point at the ghost? Can you do like a red YouTube circle around it? All right, well, I'm going to put putting this down here. Because apparently there's ghosts around. I mean, I guess we don't really need to take a photo with our with our main camera since we already took it, so we don't need to refresh the batteries. I want to talk to you. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Come on. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Wanna... Wow, that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. Dude, this is the most evidence Can I've ever gathered from this ghost. Holy shit. Can you tell me your name? Oh, I want your name. How many people are here other than me? How many? How many people are here other than me? Was here just now. Talk to me. Is there anyone here who Give would like to speak info. with me? Maybe Paramike is the answer here for more audio evidence. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Nope. Let's hold the Paramike. All right, ghost, talk to me. Are you back here? Did I take like a photo through the bushes? This thing is definitely like this should increase the range of the of the EMF thing to be like a huge circle just so it does more because what the fuck that's extraordinary again? audio evidence what did you just say <laughs> what was that Java <laughs> Diva oh thought I saw a ghost there Hey, Jabba, Jabba, G. I guess he's back here, huh? This is a good place to get evidence. Apparently, there's some candle event here. Do it! It must be really rare, though. What if you just stand here? Can I get up here? I can't. I am the king. It is some kind of... They did, like, multiple goats, because there's one skull there, one skull here. You're monsters! The goats were scared. That's why they were scared. Not because of the ghost, but because they just got murdered. You remember last time we went to the lighthouse map? The goats were very scared. They were screaming. All right, come on, ghost. Do the, re do the candle thing, whatever it is. I want to see it. Show me the candle... I'm gonna die. 
What happens? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty unusual noise, Conrad. You're right. Holy shit. I think I saw the candle event just there. I think it happened, but I was a little too occupied. <sighs> Let's not do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, dude. That was incredible. I fucking love this game. Wait, where the hell is the boats? Oh, back here. Wait. I think the candle event literally just happened that I was- <gasps> There it is! Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> we got candles now! What the fuck? That is awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna take a few screenshots of that. That's real cool. That's super rare. Screenshot time indeed. I'm up here. The... Just, could you come show up over there? Could you like pose for me, ghost? That was crazy. That was real cool. So yeah, that is a great showcase of all the demons in this game. You can blow these out. <laughs> oh, I blew them all out. Dude! Conrad, you can... You... I, I hope you made a wish, because holy shit. You must be a king at birthday parties. What the fuck? You... <laughs> He literally blew them out all at once. <laughs> that was nuts. What a lung. <laughs> all right, well, anyway, I want to see... I want to listen to some of this audio of this ghost, because this is definitely... I'm glad we don't have to bring our items back, by the way. That was definitely uh, a lot of evidence we collected there. That's by far the most active I've ever seen that ghost be. And I've done a lot of forest investigations, but uh, they're usually extremely slow and really hard to get going because it's so hard to get any evidence at all. But we got really lucky with the EMF and the thermo. And we saw the the, the red light thing. Uh, auto cam? I don't, have to, I don't have to... Oh, we could see the... Yeah, okay, true. Let me... Uh, let's check the pictures because they took pictures, right? You're right, you're right, you're right. Let's see it. What pictures did you take? I can't pick it up. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure what's more impressive. I took the photo or I'm going to survive this. The photo's this. already taken, Conrad. You don't have to worry. <laughs> oh. That's when I got knocked out or something. Wait, what? Oh! Whoa! Excuse me? <laughs> well then. Dude, this... This is a mate. This is a great way to get photos of this ghost. Just place your cam somewhere in the forest, and the ghost will just walk past at some point, and you'll just get a bunch of photos. Holy shit! Look at that. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm glad you guys made me go back. Look at that. A very cool ghost model. All right. Well, anyway, that uh. If that will not convince them that this forest is mega haunted, I don't know what will. Yeah, the the, the auto cam is like my favorite item in the game. When it works though, when it not when it doesn't work, it's like the most frustrating item in the game. Because you're like, the ghost is right there, take a damn picture, and it just refuses to take a photo. But it seems like they reworked it a little bit because it was definitely bugged before. Now it seems to be taking pictures, no problem. It's very neat. I think, I mean, visually, that might be the best ghost in the game. I just really like, what's this? Oh, I thought it was fireflies, but it's just lights in the distance. I think my favorite ghost visually has to be the demon. I just love the way the demon looks. And I know those models are made for the game. This is like the only game, the only ghost in the game I know of that has models made for the game. Every single ghost on the other ghost on the game uses like unity models from like the unity store even games with crazy ghost models like ghost watchers has bought them from the unity store um whereas this game has models made like they commission artists to make models for the game so they, and i mean they they have to because every single ghost in this game has like a, it's like a specific personality oh we didn't get any audio wait oh because all the fucking audio with the yeah, you, you and Aegis model the ghost. Every every single damn... <laughs> um, like, all the audio devices that I had didn't actually count. That's so annoying. I lost out on so much experience because it didn't count the audio that I... Wait! 
Oh, did I lose it because I got knocked out? Is that what's going on? I lost audio from the attack because like he did say before that it was like, oh, I got a bunch of audio evidence. Okay, so you lose evidence when you get attacked. Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. So yeah, there there you go. That's what that's why we lost off. But anyway, let's go to church. Here we go. Can I please? Thank you. Uh so many ghosts here. Angel of the Muslim. I wanna hear the the red eyes here. Aja. 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 Slow it down. Aja. My job. Aja. <laughs> That's gonna get real spooky now. <laughs> It doesn't get much, but you can't really hear it any better when you slow it down. Anyway, uh, that's really, that, I'm just glad we got a picture of that one. Now let's listen to all the audio from this guy. We might have to turn it down though. <laughs> what? Doodoosh. 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 <laughs> That's just some gibberish. Fuck. This is actually impossible. He could just burn the goose or so. I don't know, man. All this shit is just, it's just complete gibberish. It's inaudible bullshit. No, you can't speed it up. You can only slow it down. That's just a fucking goat. <laughs> That's later. You can't fool me. That's an even louder ghost <laughs> or goats. What the fuck? Out of way. <laughs> out of way. Why do you say out of way? What is that answer? Is there anyone who would like to speak with me? They're out of milk. It says something about a Gorio, but I don't know what. Jay Winkler, thank you for the thousand biddies. I can show you men. I don't, I don't think, I think this is, that's the one thing, the demons are kind of annoying in that way. They're always just like speaking gibberish. <laughs> demons speak Latin? Yeah, that's fucking annoying. <laughs> that even more cursed here we go uh oh <laughs> here it comes okay I, I turned it down enough what the fuck is it like barking Obviously, that's when it was killing me. That was actually one that we didn't ca catch before because we got more audio because look at this and we got our actually the first Photo of the red eyes finally. I would be better prepared yeah, yeah, with yeah, a few yeah, yeah. more I'm notes here trying to see So we we didn't get any audio on this child yet who was like Brah! We still have missing audio on the uh, the lady in white the the red-eyed ghost I need to figure out this 
I wonder what the red eye ghost is about. The red eye, red eye ghost might be one of the indigenous people. Because I remember the the forest has a lot of stories of like Native Americans living there and telling stories about the Wintakoa. Um, I think that might be it. We need to figure out. We, that one could be the next time. Next time we should investigate the red eye ghost. We still have missing audio on you guys, even though we've done so many investigations. Now we have 100 we have 100 percent of you as well. Well, anyway, that was amazing. We found the red eye for the first time, and we, the two demons were very cooperative today. And we figured out the new uh, the battery system. Doesn't seem too punishing. It just seems I especially like it just knocking you out just for a moment. It just give, gives more weight to the demons and makes them feel more dangerous so yeah let me know what you think hope you enjoyed the video if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely games here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instagram we'll click the link in the description down below thank you so much i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye oh baby oh 